I would always say like my number one tip and advice for improving your mixing. I woke up kind of dizzy, I just don't know what to do lately, what is going on? Hey guys, it's time for the first banana break. Made it up here to the forest, like 25 minutes all the way up. Really exhausting, it's also really, really cold. As a DJ and music producer, you don't really move that much, so at least during the weekend, trying to do my laps here up with the bike. So yeah, let's continue. Ah, got stuck, totally stuck. I'm really happy I went out with the bike because the rest of the day was just me sitting here on the couch, back here in the kitchen, just taking care of Cax. I already say instead of taxes, cactus, like caca, cause it's shit. I don't know, I think I'm just a little tired cause um, like after the bike riding, we went out really quick to grab a couple of beers, burger, and then we went to that movie Manhattan, I don't know what, with J-Lo. Um, uh. So I think we should just do a track submit. Didn't do one in a while, the tracks piled up. I got like over 200, 220 songs. So let's pick random a couple of them and try and give you feedback. Today not in the big studio with the big speakers, just like here with um, headphones. The first track is by John Isaiah and called B.O.L. He's already producing for seven years. So it's in its final stage and he just wants some feedback. So yeah, thanks up for the song. Let's listen to it. If you are nine, I'm just getting ahead of the time. Get down the groove with me. Moving together and sing to the beat of love. To the beat of love. Yeah, actually a really nice song. I mean, it's simple, but it's clean and it's good. It sounds finished. The mixing is, yeah, it's good. It's it's definitely at the point where you could release it. I mean, yes, there, there's still room for improvement. I'd say mainly like the kick, just maybe switching out the sample, trying to find a sample that cuts a little bit better through and has like a cleaner, rounder bass that gives your actual bass a little bit more room. It's hard to find these kind of kicks. You can either sample them from other artists, which is kind of allowed if no one catches you, or just um, try and find a sample pack. As you know, I also did a couple of sample packs. They're all down below in the description, linked and free as a free download. Frequency wise, when we look at the, the span analyzer, it all looks good. No frequency is really popping out. I think the top end needs to be raised a little, but that's usually something that would be taken care of in mastering. So the balance between the elements is really nice. I think the EQing of the separate elements could be a little bit improved. Just think about it. This song might have like 30, 40 tracks. If you go in there and EQ like some of the resonating frequencies away, if you carve out a little space for the vocals, you can push the song by at least like five to 10% in the mixing. I would always say like my number one tip and advice for improving your mixing is first up like sample selection, sound selection, so sound design, then like the, the way you're smart about structuring your song. So if you have a guitar, chords and a voice, maybe a kick and a bass, then that's enough. If you put more elements into the song, it's too much. You won't be able to mix it. Just guitar and voice is already tricky, so you have to filter down the guitar whenever the voice is playing. This is what I mean by like smart song structure. And the rest, the last step is then usually like the EQing stage, where you really listen to every sound, individual, in context, then individual again, the overall sound again, and, and be careful not to make things too thin but yeah you see i already have to go like into more detailed feedback i might actually have to do like an entire episode about it with examples and actually showing it to you to make it more understandable but that's actually how good the song is i'm personally 
not the biggest fan of the songwriting necessarily. It, it doesn't sound really unique and then also it has like this tropical main melody to it. It's not so tropical or like the annoying kind of tropical where it's like too much melody. It's like a chill deep house with a little bit of tropical. But tropical is fading at the moment a lot. And usually I wouldn't say like go with the trend, just do what you love. But tropical was so big and now it's almost no one no one's doing it anymore really. I think you could easily switch it just by changing the main melody and just the sound of it without without a problem. Also this one, quite good, more into an underground direction. The kick is really extremely good, but maybe a tiny bit too loud. It's sitting like a tiny bit like above the mix. It's like sticking out a tiny bit. I think if your kick is too loud, it sounds a little bit like primitive. If you lower it, it's more subtle and like flows with the track. The groove is improved. Um, I'd say maybe like one, two dB. This is also something that could be done in, in mastering because usually when you master, you lose a tiny bit of bass. So it, it might actually work without it. And then like melody wise, it's very groovy, very basic. There's not a main melody, nothing you could like hum along, nothing that like creates an, we call it in Germany, Ohrwurm, like ear warm, a melody that kind of gets stuck into your head. It's very hypnotic, uh, spheric, so I actually like that. But maybe having this one main element could be like maybe like a small just spoken vocal here and there or maybe like a small melody in between every eight bars. Just something to make the song stand out a little more like an element that I actually remember. I mean, it's not it's not bad as it is, but with so many people producing music, you have to make something that people remember like they listen to your song. And maybe two months later, they, they remember still at least something special that was in there. And this is even more important for songs that are instrumentals because you don't have the vocal taking care of being able to remember like the lyrics or the, the voice of the singer. Try to have something in there like a melody that really sticks or like a sound or a sound design that, that really is rememberable. This was by Nox Vidder, a song called Ground Sound. Here, actually a good example, there is an element in there that I will probably remember, this vocal, the plaid vocal melody that is kind of spheric. Not saying that the song's better than the previous one, but it's getting definitely checked that there's something in there that stands a little bit out. Mixing wise, uh, weaker than the two previous ones. I mean, you can just look at span and you can immediately see that there is like a big gap in the bass part. So you got the kick, you got the low, very low bass, and then already like the main elements, usually chords or guitars or voice. And in between, you usually want to have like a higher bass or lower chords, like a low piano, a low synthesizer pad, something to fill out the range like around 200 Hertz. In electro house music, this is done by like the, the second bass that sits above it, very gritty. In Deep House, I would go for the lower piano. Just make sure that you fill all of those frequency spots, kind of. There's this very famous um, Future Music Mac kind of chart where you can see which element needs to go into which kind of frequency. Don't follow that 100%, but it's like a good guidance to help you to fill out your track, not miss any frequencies. Because it sounds always really weird and makes the mixing a lot harder if there's just like a dip at a certain point or the, the top end frequencies are missing. With span, you just open it up, see it immediately. It's really great whenever you're mixing in a room that isn't treated with headphones, you can just double check. I'm not saying to mix by looking at it, that's like the wrong approach. Sometimes you have to break what you see because it's all about what you hear. 
But if you're a beginner or as a guidance or if you're working really long and you can't really hear properly anymore, it's a good way to kind of try and fix things. <laughs> This one was by Chef Santo called Neon. I absolutely love the, the build up. It's very interesting, unique. And that little break of silence, I also absolutely love that. And in a club, this also always works. But then it's not hitting hard enough. If you build up like this and have like this moment of silence, it needs to hit harder when it begins again. And I think in this song, the main problem is like the, the kick is too low in the mix. Maybe not the right kick, but definitely increase the volume of the kick by a tiny bit. This usually looks like someone mixed on headphones or maybe not in a proper room and couldn't really hear it. And then you usually mix in the bass kind of wrong. So just increase the kick volume, the, the bass volume, but the kick volume definitely a bit more. And the very top end of the frequencies could be lowered a little bit, especially like the head that goes on top of the kick. The main melody is a little bit too repetitive. It's it's not the most exciting melody within itself and then it repeats and both is a little too much. So make it either change at the end of every four or eight bars, just like a slight end variation, or maybe even better try to make it more interesting. Um, have something in there that just changes a bit more. But yeah, that's already it for track submits. It's like 2.30 in the evening. I definitely need to get some sleep because tomorrow morning 7.30 I have to wake up again. But Essa wants to do something. I forgot what, but she said I have to be up early. So yeah, just let's get some sleep and we'll see us tomorrow back again. I really don't know what tomorrow... I, I, I don't know. She said something I didn't listen and um, but it will be fun, I think, hopefully. We'll see. Are they real or imagination? How did I get into this situation? I got a bag full of problems, but I don't care. I just draw the curtain, I ain't going nowhere. Are they real or imagination? How did I get into this situation?